Swing. This is a side profile Ivan's wing. It's a very curved organic shape. So what I have here is I just uh, kind of measure a little bit the curve based on the image. Place where the knob is. Okay. And um, move on to the next step. The next step is few circles. So first circle I did is I measure from this point to this point and I snap this thing in place. And that's good. As long as this two hole lines up. So based on this. That's looking good. I'm going to have to replace all that, all this down the road. But again, the wing on the tip of this point to this point, this point to this point is locked in, so we know the width of the wing. Then doing the three sections, the middle section, the mountain section, and the tip section. And I went ahead and go ahead and made the intermediate, basically to the bottom of this, this section, top of this section, made the intermediate of this particular section. Now I have this two section made the intermediate. I made the middle section create this half of the wing. So premiere this half of the wing is the full wing. That's why we can put it in the other drawing and start to do the correct mounting. So in this, we see a line of Corvette here. I'll show you what I did. So this model is basically one-to-one -one scale of the Stingray. Okay. So the next one is a slightly different, about three, four inches difference. Um, this, I have to stretch it to make a Z06 and Grand Sport body because when I was making this wing, my spoiler, not wing, um, from Ivan's wing, a spoiler. Uh, it did not match up due to the the body was too skinny on this one, on the regular stingray. So I had to stretch it and make it fit. And in this model, I also this particular car, I also made a basically the um, the spoiler. Okay, the side piece, the the distance has to be correct. And the next one is basically the hole has to punch from the wing on the uh, wing bracket. So that's the the hole size. Okay. So I had to punch through it. So that's that's that. And I made a hole right here. It fits and I brought a bracket up. Cut the holes. Okay, identical to the car right now. The same distance from center to here and from here to there and from top and from the bottom. They're identical. And the next one, you'll see how Ivan's swing is attached. Even that little gap was very close right here. It's, it's identical to what is on the car before. Very close gap. It's the reason why he really curved that curve right here. Okay? And the attachment, oh, let me go back to here. And, and the attachment of his current wing, he has a few more plates to connect those, those ones. So what I'm gonna do is in this particular exercise, I'm going to eliminate one or both plates if I can get very accurate and still a little adjustment from this distance for the wing angle so I can get rid of this entire thing. And of course this whole chunk. It's gonna be very skinny, uh, water jet cut. Moving down the line. And uh, the machine shop right now is cutting this piece off the main piece. So that's what that piece looked like. Still attached to the car, but it's shaped right off the, the bracket. So I don't have to keep remove the bumper every time I need to remove the wing. I can just remove the bolts and the wing will come off. Also, I can mount different brackets, different supports here. So the wing position will be different. There's a few ideas I was going to run. Um, one's right here for drag strip. One about here, a regular. And APR will have one tall and one short wing. So I might have four different positions total uh, four brackets each side, uh, eighth or three sixteenth inch, so four sixteen, it's gonna be sixteen plates. And this allow me to design the bracket to exact location as long as I make sure the hole line up in the computer so when they water jet it, it will fit perfectly. Not too bad, not too bad. Let me explain what's happening here. This is Ivan's original wing. I asked him to cut down the amount of bracing, so it was already custom made with a minimal bracing. Now, I came up with a few more interesting ones. This is more like the C7R brace. You see how the tree handle here, the skinny bracket up. And I also extended longer. I realized it's too short. When it's longer, it looks a lot better. It's one swoop, one continuous curve radius and the inside will avoid the spoiler right here 
So in result, from the back, it will look fantastic because it's really long. Instead, just right here, it will actually come down here. Okay. And you guys can take a look. Also, I made a s small adjustment. Instead, use a different um, metal place to seal this. I decided to remove them from Ivan's design. Just mount straight into the wing. But I go ahead and cut a very little sliver. So it's about 6 degrees I can adjust. Instead, I can adjust all kind of different degrees. This is going to be the pivot point. This is going to give me about 6 degrees of adjustment. Which I think most of the times is good enough. 6 degrees is fine. Because I already did pretty aggressive um, for daily driving. And 6 more degrees. Let's see how much that is going up. The amount of downforce I will create. So that's a 6 degree differences. And the next one, I just saw it's fun because we're gonna water jet anyways to make a shorter one, but sets behind it more like an extended ducktail, but also like a dragster, funny car. So it will mount exactly like this, a short bracket with also a 60, 6 degree adjustment right here and avoid the spoiler in the front, front, and the wing has just become a spoiler, an extended spoiler, like a dragster. And this is what it looks like. I think it looks really cool. Um, from the back, that looks like a really big ducktail with a carbon fiber. It's really hard to tell what's happening here. Just one giant ducktail. On the side, if you move to the side, you'll see the extended piece. It only really looked weird at this point because typically you would think the wing is going to go on top, but now the wing acts as a spoiler. So I got two spoilers, but just extended to create much less drag. So that's, that'll be my drag setup. And this will be my race setup. And the next one we'll have to do is the APR wing, which I gotta model the APR wing and do the bracing. So far so good, this looks really good. Which one you like better? I think this looks the best. This also looks really insane. Also, I raised it up. It's about two inches higher than before. So just right at the roof line, even a little above roof line to get that really smooth air coming through the front, over the roof and propel through this way. So that's really cool. So, um, I took to Kinko's, and they won't be able to laminate this, it's too big, they can do this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I went to Michael's and get this uh, adhesive, I'm going to do a college project. Stick this in there and cut out with the X-Acto knife, and I was going to have to cut the hole, just a little art project I guess. But what it does is give me exactly 3 16 inch black. So the finished material from the water jet will be the same thickness, exact same size. So this way it's actually pretty good. Instead of just a thin film or plastic, as a markup, this will be the exact size one to one, even with the thickness, what I need for the actual water jet. So this way I can figure out the bolt, the, how long the bolt I need to be to punch through all these guys. And do the same measurements before I order the material. I might drop down to 1 8 inch because it is 4 piece. Um, strong enough, this seems a little overkill with 316, 4 316, but I mean, if it's about the same price, thicker the better, or thinner the better, I'm not sure exactly, but let's do that and see what happens. So the prototype for the phone cord, just cut it out, just cut it out, it's 316 inch, could be 1 8, but this one's 316, it's pretty good, for the C7R one. So I just went downstairs and tried to fit it. Uh, I will make that video again. They fit perfect for the holes. Those are the mounts for the wing. Those are the mount for the bracket. Those fit perfect. The computer drawing was dead on. So I went ahead and made a slight modification because I was designing the APR uh, bracket for mine. Um, I believe it looks a little better if I just take out the hole and allow the, the metal piece to be a little stronger, a little less flex. And simpler, I believe simpler looks better. So I took out the hole. And same as for this piece. I went ahead and make this section right here half inch thicker. So it was one inch, not one and a half inch on each side. I still have the hole because it is a drag feel. And uh, I fill in the hole and took out the hole. I, this is okay because the proportion wise, this actually looks just fine. The other one got too big and stopped putting hole into it. It looked flimsy and doesn't look very good. So that's the update for this particular um, piece.